tell you folks that I do suffer with anxiety and unfortunately I have gone through a really difficult time this last I don't know month and it's been a daily struggle anxiety is can take you to a very dark place in life and it's not a fun place to be however what is even worse about suffering from anxiety is people who actually take advantage of you being in one of the lowest uh, points of your life and to me this is a horrible horrible thing to mess with a person's head that's living life one day at a time due to a lot of stress they are under and you know we deal with our trolls and it's part of life it's a part of being in a reality TV show you're always going to have trolls and people who say nasty things about you so we deal with that and we can accept it we don't let it get to us whatever but it's the so-called people out there that are digging to get a story on you that will come into your life as your very best friend and come at you with so much compassion for what you're struggling with at the moment and me being a person that believes people's intentions are good I had a really good wake-up call let's just put it that way because a lot of people's intentions are just to make a headline off of your story and unfortunately there were two uh, people in particular that really took advantage of me and I, I when I saw a post recently that was a complete outright lie I just I had to come forward and just say don't believe everything you read um, so-called other castmates who have an opinion on my life who I don't even know or talk to please also don't give them too much of your time my true friends I've, uh, are people who hold my hand during a difficult time not look to get attention from me in a difficult situation and people such as Evelyn and Corey have, tro have shown me such true companionship, loyalty, friendship that's true. And they've been here to hold my hand and be with me in a, a really dark time. Also, Jenny, Linda Taboo, Christine, and her beautiful wife, Jen, have been so amazing and, and have really they've held me up when I've been falling and I just I just love these guys so much but to the people like fraud by TLC and talkers of shit who played games and pretended to be such a good friend to me should be disgusted with themselves because they took advantage of me at a very vulnerable time in my life. They have gone on to spread incredible lies. Okay? And let me tell you something. These ladies can take a screenshot in two seconds, but yet they've made huge accusations. Do you think if I actually had said these things, there wouldn't be a screenshot out there? Yeah, there would be. These are the type of people where they're going to lie and they have no backup and no proof to what they're saying. So I know that they're constantly posting crap about us, but please just know that not everything you read is the true reality. And I think that it's really disappointing in life when people know that you're in a dark time and they... Uh, pretend to be a fake friend. 
Like, that's just kind of really low. And they do it just to get a story. So that sucks. So I just wanted to say my own story and tell you exactly what's going on with me. Oh, yes, isn't that a lovely question? What type of person am I to lie about being pregnant? Well, let me tell you something, sweetheart. I didn't lie. I had a tubal pregnancy, okay? And guess what? I am not in menopause. I am not even approaching menopause. My functions are very much working downstairs, okay? For those people who suddenly live in my vajiji that they can give such bold statements blows my mind because I know exactly what happened to me. And I had my cousin also with me up in Canada when all this was going down. So people who are such know-it-alls about even my menopause cycle and so forth, it's just, it's insane. It's like, folks, unless you are my doctor, I'm pretty sure you don't know what's happening. And this is what Emerald has to say about that. She says, go take your bone and bury it, okay? So, let me just set that record straight. Oh, uh, thank you. I do appreciate you saying, fuck them, you don't have to explain yourself. But, you know, I, I'm going live mainly because I have received such, um, I've seen such good qualities in people that know that I'm going through something and they have been supporting me. And I'm going live really to say thank you to all the folks that have been with me, supported me, and tell me don't listen. And I really appreciate you folks because along with my good friends, Evelyn, Christine, Jen, and Jenny, and Corey, having you guys also support me means a tremendous uh, amount to me because you got to remember we're still human we still struggle with uh, things in life we're just on a 15 minute fame ride if there's even so called fame with this it's just you folks get a, a tiny little glimpse of we do months of filming and what you see is like maybe three minute shot of months of filming so just remember that we're just as normal as you. We deal with issues like you folks do, if not more, because everything's just so public and out there. But I wanted to say thank you so much. I appreciate you all. We love you. Oh, and don't forget Jacksonville Rock Fest. This is Liam's favorite concert. He attends every year. He drags his mother to Rockville. Go Jaguars. I know you're still not doing so good this year, but hopefully the Jags are going to pick it up a notch. Anyways, me and my baby girl, 